Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? We talked about how you were kind of like an unsung guy for a while. Now is JJ kind of taking that that uh, title a little bit? I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to what to say about that, but uh, no, I mean. JJ has been great all season. Um, he shoots the hell out of the ball. He draws a lot of double teams, and um, you know all, the big guys get a lot of our shots because of him. Uh, because of our guys that always have to be able to help and get out on a great shooter like him. It, it opens the floor up. What did, what did Chris look like out there to do? And how gutsy he was it again to, to even play? Um, Chris, you know he he definitely could have sat this one out tonight. He um, he got pretty banged up in the, uh, the game on Sunday. Um, but you know he, he really wanted to be out there with us, and that um, that shows how much of a leader he is. Um, the will that he, he wanted to get out there and play and help us any way he could. You know he he wasn't able to uh, get to the basket like he, he normally is. You could tell he was um, favoring it a little bit. But um, you know he had 15 assists, so he still was effective and, uh, and played really good defense on Rubio. So um, you know hopefully he can get some treatment tonight, tomorrow, and be ready to go. Um, heal up a little bit for uh, Wednesday. DJ, talk about the uh, defense and the importance of that now more than ever with some of the lack of scoring you got out there. And would it have been a little more fun if KG played tonight? I think it would have been a little bit more intense, <laughs> for sure. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, we, we have guys who are, who are going to step up. You know, Turk missed some shots that he usually makes. Um, you know, so, so, did, so did Nate. Um, it's for his first home game, so I know he had some, some, some butterflies or whatever. But, you know, Austin played well. and. Um, we just got to continue to give each other confidence, and you know, tonight was one of those games for certain guys. But you know, I'll take those guys knocking down those shots in any times. DJ, tonight was your first uh, game with at least twenty fifteen and three. Just talk about that and your overall performance. Um, I feel like, like I said, you know, Chris wasn't able to uh, be as effective and as, as explosive on offense, so he was definitely looking for me in a lot of the. Uh, you know, shots that he usually shoots, and uh, <clears throat> JJ when he when he comes off, you know, uh, guys have to step up, and if not, uh, he's gonna knock it down. But the guys are looking for me, so um, you know, I didn't do it by myself. They uh, they found me, and you know, some of the things was just uh, were just me being in the right place at the right time. DJ, thank you. DJ, talk about your prolific growth and what you've what you achieved thus far with everybody being out, like Blake and. Jamal, how much better do you guys foresee yourselves being when they do return? Um, I think we're going to be a lot better. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, it's hard for me. I just think uh, I'm just taking advantage of the opportunity. Um, we know that, especially with Blake and Jamal being out, that, that's you know, 16 points and 20 points. So uh, guys definitely have to step it up <clears throat> uh, offensively. And there's going to be a lot more shots to go around. So whenever you do get it, you got to make the most of your opportunity and uh, just try to convert. But, you know, <clears throat> I think our second unit is going to benefit the most from this. Um, with, with Jamal being out and uh, with Spencer having to start, maybe playing a lot more minutes. Uh, once Blake comes back, man, once Jamal comes back, our second unit, I feel like, is going to be much stronger. And that's going to be good for us in the postseason. Uh, Doc says you guys will play anybody in the playoffs. JJ said that matchups are important. Where do you kind of fall in on that? Is it, is it important to try to get a certain matchup, or are you just ready to take on whoever? I think that um, it doesn't matter who you play in the playoffs. Um, you know, as long as we execute our stuff and play the way we're capable of playing, then you know, we can beat anybody. Um, but I feel like home court you know, matters a little bit uh, in the playoffs. How would you describe the challenge of this road trip coming up? <clears throat> what the heck do you guys need to do to slow down Mr. Westbrook? Uh, Shoot. <laughs> uh, sorry, how about I be fine here? Um, it, it's tough. He, uh, you know, he's in attack mode, you know, all the time. We just have to do our job early and make it tough for him. Uh, you're not gonna stop him from doing anything because of how fast he is, and, and you know, once he gets the rebound, he's pushing it. Um, we just have to load up early, help help our guards, and uh, you know, he, we have to make him play in the crowd. And if we do that, make him pass the ball to, uh, to other people and <clears throat> you know, make the ball pop around. We, we, we obviously got to, you know, can't let him score 40 and then have 17 assists. You know that you know, lose every time like that. But we just got to be able to be physical and make him play in the crowd.
It's going to be a team effort, though. With the trip overall, though, and the challenges 